With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says that the contraction of the diaphragm increases the volume of the thoracic chamber in dash axis while the contraction of the external external intercostal muscles increases the volume of the thoracic chamber in dash axis. So while we see when during the process of the inspiration, the muscles which are coming into the action are the diaphragm. So diaphragm in this case is going to contract and the external intercostal muscles are also going to contract. So both, both the muscles that is the diaphragm and the internal interco external intercostal muscles when they contract they are going to increase the vo volume of the thoracic chamber and the similar changes are going to be reflected in the pulmonary cavity also. So that means during the inspiration the volume inside is more the pressure is less so air will move in. So that means air now moves into the lungs while opposite occurs in case of the expiration process. The volume decreases by the con relaxation of the diaphragm, the contraction of the internal intercostal muscles there. So this will decrease the volume, increase the pressure and the air will now move out of the lung. While we see that the directions have to be found out here the first one is A is the anterior posterior direction while contraction of the external intercostal muscle increases the diameter of the thoracic chamber in the dorso ventral direction. So we can see option number three is the right answer for this question whereas the other options which are given here are the wrong ones. So let's mark this as the correct answer. This is all about this query. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.